So guys, as you can see, the LED is blinking. See, it's blinking with a delay of 200 milliseconds. Now I show you the code. And in the code here, you can see that what we are doing is that we just use a trist command to initialize the LED pin. Trist.d.fn, that port D, pin number F1, make it an output pin, that means zero. By default, we want the LED to be off, so LED is off. And then we go to our forever loop, starting from here, ending here. And in the forever loop, I change the initial state of the LED, which was off. And I make it one. Now it has turned on. Then it remains on for 200 millisecond. After that, it turns off. And then again, it remains off for 200 millisecond. And then it keeps on repeating forever because it is within the forever loop. So this programming gives us this result. Hello, guys. Welcome to Learning Microcontrollers. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can blink an LED with a PIC16 FH77A microcontroller. So let's get started. So guys, this over here is our PIC16 FH77A microcontroller, it's having 40 pins, it's a DIP version. This over here is a 5mm crystal type LED. And as you can see, this LED have only two pins, one longer and one shorter. Now to connect this LED with a PIC, uh, we will use a resistor. This resistor can be of any value from 100 to 500 ohm. You can go higher values as well, but it will dimmer the LED. The higher the value you go, the dimmer the LED will go. So to keep it bright, bright enough, just keep it, keep this resistor between 100 to 500 ohm. The job of this resistor is that it's a safety resistor. It will make sure that your LED do not get burned from the 5 volt coming from our PIC16 FA77A. Basically, it's a current limiting resistor. So this is a safety for the LED. Now guys, uh, since we have the PIC, we have the LED, we have the resistor, this is the hardware you're gonna need. Now let's do the connections. Now the shorter pin of the LED, I name it as ground. This is the ground pin and the longer pin as the power pin. Now remember, this is a polar component, so you cannot shuffle these two pins as you like. Now guys, the next thing is, connect the ground pin of your LED directly with the ground of your PIC16 FH77A microcontroller. And for the power pin, you connect it to the one end of the resistor like this. And from the other end, you can take out your output. You can connect it to any available digital input output pin of your uh, PIC. So I'm gonna use a pin number D1 randomly. Now guys, in this way, our connections are completed. Now, how to set up a hardware for programming? I have a video on that, and I will share the link to that video in the description. And its name is like setting up the hardware. So guys, let me introduce you to the hardware before we move on to the programming. So this over here is the hardware. This is the LED, and that is our PIC16 FA77A in the background. It's just a trainer board, so this only matters. So what I do is that, let's open the micro C for PIC and get started with the programming. So I'm gonna use a vision 7.6.0. I also have a video on that, you can check it, uh, about how to download and install this micro C for PIC for free from the official website. Let's wait. Okay, here we go. Now, micro C for PIC is open. So, first of all, check the vision at 7.6.0. You can use any higher vision available. Now, click on File. Okay, let, uh, File, New, New Project. This window pops up, New Project Wizard. Click on Next. Write the name of the project. Blink N LED. That's what I wrote. Select the microcontroller. I'm gonna use a PIC16 FA77A. Select the crystal. The crystal connected to pin number 13 and 14 pin of my PIC16 FA77A is 20 megahertz, so I write 20 here. Click on next and finish. Now guys, this window pops up. I press Control S to save my work, like this. Now, after the work is saved, next thing is to write the commands. Now, the pin we are using here is D1. See, as shown in the presentation, we are using pin number D1, this pin. So since we are using D1 pin, so we will program the D1 pin as well. So I write here, trace D dot F1 equals to zero. Why? I wrote trace D dot F1 equals to zero because trace is a direction register. It defines its TRIS trace. Trace is a direction register. It defines either the pin is to be declared as input or an output. Zero means it's an output 
and one means it's an input. So in case of an LED, the pin must always be declared as an output pin. So we make this is our port and this is the pin. So trace register, direction register, port D, pin number F1, declare it as an output. Now initially I want the LED to be off, port D dot F1 equals to zero. Now see, I'm giving the command directly to the port D and then I select the respective pin that is F1 equals to zero. This command will make sure that your LED is off by default. Give some initialization delay, not necessary, but I always suggest you give it in the one time loop. So this is the sign text. Delay MS, this means milliseconds 20. It means that a delay of 20 milliseconds will be given to this uh, uh, initialization. Now what I do is that I start the forever loop from here. I write while one forever loop starts here and ends here. And in the forever loop, I write here the command just initially the LED is off. Now we turn on the LED. I make it one. Now the LED pin is on. After that, we give some delay. So the LED pin remains on for this time. I make it like half a second. And then after that, the LED must turn off. That is the initial state. It will go back to this state. Just copy paste this command here. So LED turns on and then remains on for half second. And after that again, it should turn off. Now the LED will turn off for half second. And then it will repeat again and again because it's a forever loop. Now I build this code. See the code is built, no errors. Now we go to the Picket 3 programmer tool to burn it. So this is the Picket 3 programmer tool over here. I also have a video on this as well in which I have shown you how you can download and install this. Click on, uh, first of all, select the device. I have PIC 16 f 877 a Check it in the list, this one. Now click on file, import the hex file you just created. This one, blink an LED, double click. Now click on write. Okay, the new file is being written. We can just go to the hardware to see what is happening. Okay, let us write the file. And this is the pin we are using here, this one. Okay, it's written. Now what I do is that I power up the circuit using the picket three. So click on on. So the picket has powered up the circuit. Now you can see that our coding is working. It is blinking an LED with a delay of half second. See, now I change the delay. I wanted to blink faster. I make it like 200. Now after every 200 second, the LED will turn on for 200 millisecond and then it will remain on for 200 millisecond and after that it will turn off for 200 millisecond like this. Now we build this code, build. Okay, the new hex file is created. Now I go back to the Picket 3 programmer tool to change the code. Okay, the file is already selected. You don't have to reselect the file. Just click on write. Okay, the new file is being written. Let's go to the hardware and see what happens. Let it write. Okay, the new file is written as well. Now see the blinking speed has increased because we have changed the programming. So guys, in this way, you can blink an LED with a PIC16 FA77A microcontroller. So thank you very much for your time and I hope you guys learned something from this lecture. So we'll see you in the next lecture.